Right now I'm a, I'm a co-editor of Global Voices in Portuguese, which is the Portuguese version of the Global Voices online website, a community of like 400 people around the world who deal with system media. And my role is to bring perspectives and translate these blog posts from English to Portuguese so we can have like a, a picture of what is going on in the world that is a little bit different from what mainstream media in Brazil tells about the rest of the world. So we get like to see stories from many places like Pakistan, like uh, Asia, like the Middle East who are not actually in the mainstream media, in the news media every day and it's good because we can see what what our people are doing there and what is different from us what is the same what are the struggles they're having like with revolutions and stuff and how they're using social media how they're using bloggers and it kind of kind of like we can learn a lot from that and it's it's very rewarding because we can help bring in a very different perspective of what the world is and like bringing voice of the people like the people who are every day they, they have like an everyday struggle and they're not sometimes they're not seen in mainstream media or they're not heard i think that is helping a lot of people to get a sense of what the word is because sometimes i really say that i say that we in brazil especially in the south we're in a comfortable zone because we have wealth the country is really good right now and lots of people like the economy is growing and it might be dangerous that if we don't see what are the struggles that other people are having around the world so it's good we can have a sense of everything and to learn from this bloggers really have an influence can have an influence in mainstream media in politics and in many other aspects aspects of social life because uh, especially in Brazil, internet access is growing a lot. So we have like 70 million people who are who have access to internet. Although that's like 40 percent of the population, it means that we can make some revolutions. Although they might be like small revolutions, but I think that counts a lot. I know it's very difficult to mobilize 200 million people in this country. So if we can, we, if we can have like small revolutions, people doing a little bit of work, changing and telling things, using their blogs, telling their stories to everyone so that they can hear and learn about these stories, I think that's a small revolution.